Nicolas must not catch us. Привет. Bonjour. Bonsoir. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hello, everyone. Dragon again with another CVT. Three Roach Opener. A thing that haunts a lot of Terrans in their dreams. And a thing that gave a lot of Zergs a lot of MMR. It's practically daily, or at least when I stream CV, um, some SC2 is that the question pops up. Real game, can I still play the free roach opener? Does it still work? I mean, the build is really old. I always say, yeah, of course it can still play the free roach opener with Ark. But, but how does it work? I mean, cyclones and tanks? I make this video like once a month, I feel. But I'm going to do it again, because another patch happened, so let's have another look at how Railgun plays the Free Roach Opener. Free Roach Opener, for those of you who don't know, I don't know, I wrote a lot of guides on this, but it's basically we open with Pool Edge Gas, build the Roach one before the Queen, build Free Roaches, send, the send two links across the map, send Free Roaches across the map, try to do damage. Let's have a look at how this all plays out. Here come the Roaches, they kill the Hellion. They kill the SCV. Holy shit, this Terran is in trouble, but oh no, he built a Widow Mine. Retreat! Retreat, Roach! Run! Run! And, um, <laughs> my goal is going to be to start the fast lair, and usually the build goes fast lair into, um, Spire. But you can kind of do whatever you want, to be honest, with the free Roach build. This game, instead of going for a Spire, I'm going to throw down double evolution chamber and I'll play a late game CVT. What is important right now is I'm going to go back a little bit because this is actually kind of important. My second 100 gas and my first 100 gas after the three roaches went into the lair, I did not get link speed. I started the gas as soon as I had my natural saturated and the two evolution chambers when I had the money for those. Now he's pushing across the map with his units and he went for a fast cyclone. I know that he is trying to take my f down my third base, so he scouts over here with the reaper, sees no third base, I see the reaper there, so I know that these units are going over here to scout, right, for the third base. So what that means is that gives me the, M the time I need to actually get my units up in position. <coughs> I, well, more or less voluntarily show him my army, and I then get greeted by the banshee, curse you banshees foiled my plan yet again. Getting the missile and carapace upgrade and we're actually going for a roach style. Would you believe it? A roach style in 2018. Railgun plays roaches in 2018. Things nobody would have expected to hear. So I'm putting the overseers in oversight mode at all my bases so I don't have to worry about the banshees. Got some spare queens running around, throwing up quite a bit. I could be aggressive with my roaches, but I figured it's probably not gonna work anyways. So what I'm doing right now is I'm playing a roach tunneling claw burrow style follow-up. My opponent is taking his third base around the time I took mine a little bit afterwards. I'm droning up my third base right now and taking my fourth, as you always should, because you really need that fourth base, because your main base starts mining out there at like 7 minutes 30 seconds as you can tell. Mine only has uh, 7 mineral patches left instead of the 8. So I'm borrowing a roach over here to try and block him off a little bit. Running around with my other roaches. He's building a missile turret so he will be able to detect my roaches and my roaches will not be able to do any damage to him. He's also quite safe hiding behind his tanks and banshees and uh, well, yeah, he's safe, okay. He's safe alright. Got me, hi me some Hydra disc and I'm throwing down the infestation pit because my, my third base saturated and my fourth base almost done. And then we're going to play um, a plus two plus two roach Hydra style. Plus two plus two are quite nice upgrades. I'm actually faster on the upgrades than he is because he delayed his armory quite a bit. Got tanks fairly well spread out. I'm checking over here to see where his army is or if I can somehow sneak past it but he also put the missile turret there. So obviously no chance in hell. Overall now I'm just fighting a little bit for map control with these units. I also know that it's pretty o that he is going for some harassment over here. Actually I put a spore here because I know that one queen cannot kill two banshees over here. It's not really a problem because I kind of have my queens in the area anyways, but this space is a little bit far off. 
Um, yeah, yeah. As soon as the Infestation Pit is done, I got the Hive, Ultralisk Cavern, and four Vipers. Vipers are very key against very tank heavy compositions because I know that my opponent is going for a tank heavy composition. I'm using some of them good units. Over here, the harassment by him. <clears throat> I spotted the two drops down here. Figured he was going to kill this base and said he just kills my the drones at my gold base, doing quite a bit of damage to me, throwing me down to 60 workers, which is not a worker count I'm comfortable at. I'm more of a 70 to 80 worker player. But because I invest a lot of my money into um, a lot of my supply into the roaches, I can't really afford everything else as well. I have a lot of money, so I'm just throwing down some spines at the bases because why not, right? If you have a lot of money, might as well build some spines. Spine crawlers are good units. You should build them, you should use them. But this all does quite annoyingly so, is it wastes a lot of my time. Like, I would really like to attack him and use my vipers as soon as I can, but I was very busy defending against all his pushes. In the end, I actually got some decent damage done on him there though. And right now, He's pushing out, and I'm not actually sure how he notices this. Oh, well, this is the... Is it perhaps the big black sm cloud that's moving across the floor? <coughs> Sorry. But he sees my roaches here, and I'm trying to set up um, an engagement on his tanks. I'm checking over here if he's taking the gold base. So I see his tanks, and I move my units um, all over his tanks, so I can do a lot of friendly splash damage, and then I'm closing in with the rest of my army. Trying to decimate this tank count as good as I possibly can, throwing down some blinding clouds, but it's not quite enough. I'm able to clean up most of his tanks here, but still three tanks remain and his reinforcements as well. The drop down here eventually gets cleaned up, I just moved the drones away from this space. I got ultralisks out now, I don't really have vipers left. Uh, the banshee over here eventually gets shut down by the spore queen combination as well, or hydras, I don't know what killed it eventually, but it got cleaned up. And he is spreading his tanks, going for the push down this memory lane, or whatever you want to call it. We got nice creeps right over here. I don't really want to move into his tanks here. You're going to see that my ultra is kind of gets stuck behind the hydras, and the hydras take a lot of splash from the tanks, so that's not what I want. Instead, we're going to set up a better fight. <clears throat> I got that one wiper. One wiper can already be enough. As soon as he cleans the creep, I have to throw down new creep tumors, and then it doesn't really matter that much that he actually does clean the creep. And yeah, my worker count is still fairly low. I kind of used up my money by building all the ultralisks as well. I'm now building links because he's going for a very tank heavy composition, and things are actually good against mass tank. And here we see how I'm setting up for this engagement. I'm putting some ultralisks down here, the vipers are coming in from the side to throw down the blinding clouds and I could also attack him from here but my core army will attack him from this angle. So here we go, ultra is fighting against the links down here, here come two more ultras, then my my vipers are flying in, I'm wasted, I've not wasted but I used one blinding cloud on three tanks here, going in deeper, seeing the next spot with the three tanks, blinding cloud and no, none of his tanks can actually fire and I'm able to clean this push up easy peasy, lemon squeezy, no questions asked and of course as soon as I clean up one push off the Terran another attack comes and cleans up my gold base and I'm... I feel like I lost anyways, right? So what I'm doing right now is I'm going for the Great Despire into Broodlord, Corruptor, Shenanigan, Re, Shenanigan, Ru. All the good stuff. Packing him over here. Uh, I'm kind of getting a decent fight. I'm cleaning a lot of his bio army, but eventually his reinforcements with tanks over here are kind of being a little bit of a of a fun killer, and I'm losing a lot of my units as well. We're now kind of even in supply, but he of course has mules, so supply is always a little bit dangerous to look at. Because he has, a, he has very good income thanks to his mules. I'm able to clean up a lot of his economy over here regardless though. Which is quite nice. Oh, here's another little, little trick that I did right here. 
So you might notice that I borrowed the Hydralisk here and the Hydralisk here. The reason why I do that is because it allows me to see when he's moving down this ramp. And my Hydralisk can actually fire up the ramp now because the Hydralisk gives them vision, right? See? This Hydralisk gives vision. So I can fire at the unit here. You can also borrow a Ling or whatever, but I borrowed the Hydralisk because I had a Hydra there. So I'm able to see where his units are moving, thanks to that. Don't have banning speed yet, banning speed would be quite useful here. Checking for the gold base, I don't actually know that he has the spaces here right now, so I feel like I'm more ahead than I actually am. Losing a lot of my links there. The Burrowed Ultra Lisk, the classic, right, who doesn't... Everybody knows and loves the Burrowed Ultra. Checking over here with my links now, now I see, oh yes, this space. Oh yes, this space, now kind of like shitting my pants a bit. Um, he's attacking me down here right now. Keep in mind, this all started with a free roach opener. No more roaches in the composition, of course, because roaches are kind of useless. I can't really fight him here because he has too many tanks. I have no vipers or broodlords. So I'm going to surrender this base. The one base I cannot surrender is this one because it's my left, uh, my only mining base. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm morphing, morphing my broodlords because he has a lot of tanks with no vikings. So the broodlords are going to be very effective and I'm going for an, an attack over here. So I can shut down this base, which will reduce him to this base, mining, and of, well, of course this one. Down here I'm just trying to stall time so he cannot completely kill this base off. Once the Brute Lords are here, he has to retreat. Because if he does not retreat, my, <coughs> my units will kill all of his stuff. Like my Brute Lords will slowly chip away at his units until everything is dead. Losing some units here and there, that's okay. The space was cleaned up by my Ultra Hydra Task Force. And here a big mistake as he loses a lot of tanks in the middle of the map. My links are trying to surround the tanks and clean up everything. Then the fight down here with my huge Hydra army as well as everything dies. Railgun is victorious and... Wow, what a game. What a g -g 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 game. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. See you guys soon and... Uh, bye bye.